Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero, the movie. Uh, I think this is called The Frozen Bond. And as far as I know, this is kind of like a prequel to the original like ReZero season 1. And it like, uh, it revolves around the bond between Puck and Emilia. Now, like, uh, as I've like seen the uh, episode itself, like the actual anime, I've like already watched it. And... Uh, like I've I know like they Puck and Emilia has, has like kind of like a backstory and Puck kind of calls Emilia as her daughter and there was something about like uh, a contract and Puck saying that she, like he was going to destroy the whole world if like uh, after she dies or something so like all of these were quite uh, what can I say like mysterious and I'm sure like it has some kind of a backstory so most probably this movie kind of like answers those questions so yeah so obviously like this like in saturday i like do the uh, movies usually and i'd like previously uh like decided to do the ghibli movies but for now i'm going to like keep and hold to that uh, because like i have a lot of movies that i've not watched and i'm planning to so i decided to like make all the reactions of it like for example this one and i'm all like uh, also like planning to do the reaction to like the my hero academia movie second movie the first one i've watched so i can't do that uh, the one with uh, like uh, the Melina Shields, I, uh, that was her name, I think. Uh, I watched that, and but uh, the second one I've not watched. I, I think it is something called uh, Rising of the Heroes or something. I'm not sure, but I'm going to do that as well. And I'm going to like check if like there are like some other movies that I've not watched and uh, that are like uh, related to uh, the animes itself, like uh, the like mainstream animes. Uh, if there are like any more of them, I'm going to do those after that i'm going to like start other like reacting to the other movies that i've not watched for example the ghibli movies i've watched none of them so i have a plan to do those so i'm going to do it eventually each and every one so yeah if you guys like enjoy like anime movies and all be sure to like check and check them out i'll be doing them weekly so yeah but today we are here with like rezero uh the frozen bond the movie and like uh obviously like i've reacted to season two I've and i have not been able to react to season one because i've already watched it and obviously i can't react to that so season two was fresh when it was coming out and i have already reacted to it in my channel so this is also something i like i wanted to watch i thought maybe i'll like watch it in my spare time but like uh as i'm like doing the movie each like each week so i thought why not to just react to it in the channel so yeah so yeah guys uh, enough talking so without further ado let's get started with the movie uh, ReZero uh, Frozen Bond I think its name is. So yeah obviously like this is the timer reaction so the subtitles and the timer will be given here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with the movie. All right here's the countdown. 3 2 1 go. Wait, this voice is. Wait a minute, this is Ekidona's voice, isn't it? I might be wrong, but I think this is Ekidona's voice. So is like Park somehow related to Ekidona? Or am I like. Whoa, damn, the no is nice. Oh my God, what the hell is this? Oh, Emily, I think quite younger here. Oh, so I'm guessing she still does not have Puck with her. And she's only using her like spirit magic. No, not spirit magic, but her like whatever the magic she uses. Wow. Okay. Um, what the hell? Oh, like, thank God there's no like. Broke her fall. 
<coughs> what happened what is happening oh and it's censored i think isn't it or not i don't know <laughs> damn i'm guessing that is puck or not oh no what's happening the blood is freezing or something oh yeah she looks like satella that's why like yeah oh no Even the little kid knows. And they think that this is Emilia's doing. Oh my god. Well, it started like this. I don't know what the rest of the movie will like yeah what happened like suddenly like their wounds started freezing or something Yeah. It's what? Oh. oh, he she is contracted with Buck. I think. Super. Oh, so. Oh, so it's like going back and forth? Yeah, okay. So she's reminiscing about her past. Gotcha. It's still in the... Okay, so like this is from when like Emilia first met Subaru, like they said first date, so that time. And she's reminiscing about her past from like that portion. This happens in season one and she is like remembering her past from season one. So, so yeah, this cannot be called a prequel then. Like she is like clearly like thinking about her past. So technically it's still in like season one. So her like uh I thought her reminiscing that thing is in the prequel but she is like in season one okay i guess it's something like that anyways okay what is this it's like a, a tree house or something house is inside of a tree Or, or like it's a cave or something else. Anyways. <sighs> it is a tree, yeah. What the? Jeez. <laughs> she doesn't feel cold or what? What the? Like, what is she wearing? It's such a, like a cold weather. I guess she like uses ice magic, so I think she doesn't feel. Okay. Did she make them to like, like to 
not feel lonely or something? Where are her, her parents? Like, Ooh, what? yeah, those things. India. What the hell is happening? What is that? Like, that's some kind of mineral? She's using them for money, an exchange of money. Okay, so like uh, she uses those like tiny mineral things. Change of mind. Okay, so she lives completely alone. No one there. And like, what about her? Oh, she. they know each other. Wow, Pak is so small. Um. <laughs> yeah, like always snowing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, please, not slot. <laughs> yeah, obviously, <laughs> we know why. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> Probably her parents. <laughs> God damn the <laughs> yawn transferred to me. What happened? 
Is that the way he like? <laughs> Wait, I thought like maybe she did not have the contract. So oh, she has the contract with Park. Okay, so these things like grow inside the cave. You seem to grow it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Like thinking about it, that let the tree be the year and those things be. <laughs> She's cleaning the air. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkling stones. Wow, a lot of them, yeah. It dematerialized. Believe not. Most probably, like... <laughs> oh. Fireman. Wait, Park can use fire as well? Or was there something else? I think like she was dreaming the dream that she like dreamt in season two when, like, uh, in during the trial, isn't it? Oh yeah, that so what's that thing like uh growing like those eyes eyes things from the wound? Was that like Emilia's power or was that something completely else? Light. Someone Oh boy, I'm having a bad feel. Oh boy, who the hell is this? <clears throat> oh no, they're here to capture her. Like they have a cage ready, my god. Oh great.
Oh, so. So, humans win, won? Well, time to die. Well, there's another option. There are other elves living in this forest? What? Oh, so they don't know she looks like Satella? Okay. God damn. This guy is retarded. Who are his like followers? Yeah, teach them a lesson so like they won't. Ooh, damn. Well, I did not know Emilia can like fight like that. Like I know like she can use magic, but what the? And these guys won't like listen. Oh my god, shut up. Wait, something's coming. Oh, that's Park, isn't it? Or someone, something else. Okay. Oh no, that's not Park. Something else. Oh my God. Like okay. Um. Oh, damn, like throwing like snow like that and crushing someone using snow. Wait, oh, Amelia. Wait, what was that? Like... Oh, that thing, like that... Happened again, like... So does this happen when like her emotions become like run rampant or something like it's kind of oh damn sucking out the blood my god oh no yeah they're also going to get affected like in wounds this happens oh, my god He also has like a cut in his 
Yeah. And it's over. Okay, so back here. Okay, so Well, so however, from forbidden from ah, uh, could not that. I think like because Emilia like uh, painted, that's why like uh, the thing did not. Like they did not die or something. I don't know. I'm just guessing. They're probably inside the houses. Or what happened? What? What happened? Like. Oh, they told uh, them, okay, uh, like, oh, okay, I get it. They better not, like. He's going to freak out more. Where is she like going to get the food that she got from this village? Oh my god, these guys are still... Oh! Wait, yeah. There's been some... Oh, okay.
Damn. Beast of the end. Okay, there are a few confusing bits, like it'll probably be resolved by the end of the movie. Okay, um. <laughs> yeah, like I was thinking about that, like where will she get the food she got? They're sleeping? Wait, these are real people? Or else? I thought they were like sculptures she made. Oh, so they're... Alright, so they're like elves. Real elves. That's a spirit. Yeah, she used it in like season one. And that thing again. Yeah, it's melting everything. Oh. Parts of yourself. So I'm guessing that's also like some kind of a spirit. Part of the spirit. Arbiter Melequera. Wow, that's like a... Wait! How do you speak falsehood? Question of balance. Arbitration. Yeah, like what? Okay.
Okay. Ah. Okay, I have a lot of questions. So, like, did like Emilia accidentally like freeze all of them somehow? Like this molecular, whatever, like trying to find her. They said like trying to find the witch, but she just looks like Satella. Does not have any connection to the teller. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, when I woke up, okay. Before I got out of the ice. Oh, so she was also frozen? So, like, was she the only one who, like, was able to get out of the free, uh, like, frozen state? Oh no, something is. Oh great, that thing. Oh no, there's something else. Wow. Guilty law. That looks like a Pokemon. What the? Oh my. What the? Yeah. That's like a slime or something. What? Oh my god! That is like a slime, like it's devouring the whole thing. And it's getting bigger. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, you got it? So easily? Oh, so, okay, so she got it. Black serpent's poison. <clears throat> oh! Thank God, like the frozen poor, like it was like it held until she came to park. Yeah, you have to like crunch it. Yeah, that thing is still alive. Hmm.
Okay. Oh, it's here again. In Laquilla. Um, <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh, she uses that as skateboard. I thought that was a mirror mirror. Okay, another spirit. Yeah, we saw this with uh, Julius. Oh my god. Oh my what? Is that the slime thingy? My god. Ooh. God. Oh my god, the whole forest is like Going to like burn down like this. Silver witch. Oh my god, was that like a little spirit, miracle spirit? Or something else? Yeah, the whole village will be like devoured. She can like temporarily freeze it, but it will be just like stopping it for the time being. But I think that's enough for now at least. I think that, I don't know, like, is this spirit, like... Oh boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh no. Oh, okay. Apologizing. Damn, she's wow. Okay, so, so like she has something like special with her like I don't know like if she is really like somehow related to Satella or not But we can like clearly see people are trying to capture her and everything 
she has this like kind of like power which goes out of control sometimes damn oh no wait what were those flashbacks Oh my oh so like did the lesser spirits help her to yeah, control it yeah yeah oh my god yeah that like red spirit is evil i think like like working for miracle i think Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, so like, yeah, like that thing gone gain control of him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why is everyone like calling her the witch? Like, I don't. She looks like her. Like, I can understand the villagers, but like this Milakuela, I think like he has information about the witch or everything. Oh my god. Half devil. Okay, th this thing. Yeah, like this. Half elf. You have the same appearance. Reincarnation of the witch. But. What? But we saw Satella in season 2, like... Well, technically she's dead, but...
Oh, great. What? The what? What? Why the hell is he here? What the? God damn this thing. I thought like this guy maybe like was able to like will be like able to explain something but no he doesn't know anything and like yapping about what? Judgment execution. Well, we saw Puck's like full power once, like when he... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that thing like really so powerful? Like. Oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he was like yapping around too much. My revenge. <laughs> well, that was quite easily done, like... All right. What's with this half devil, half elf thing? Like, yeah, like what? Like, what's wrong with half elf? Only like Satella.
What? Oh no. Oh boy. Yeah, I was thinking that like... Oh. That thing is still alive. Yeah, like Buck said something about like parts of the body, so that was like a small portion of the whole thing. God damn, like, ugh. Stop it, just stop. Like, wow, great. There was like one horse, now there are like four or five horses. Obstacle removal, brethren sacrifice. This thing is like annoying me now. Like he doesn't even know the whole like why these like and like he This thing is annoying me now. Yeah, like this thing is more like uh, dangerous. Great. That which makes you You will no longer be you. Okay. Yeah, so I was thinking like, like he m most probably has his like own goals. But if he like makes a contract, he will forget everything or something like that. I mean, I think maybe like he, like he has some kind of like circumstances.
Well, the future there will be someone, I guess. Okay, now he'll definitely like get a major power boost. <laughs> okay, that is really a major power boost. <laughs> Melaquela, who's that? Like, slap him off. <laughs> there we go. Like that form, okay. Four great spirits. Beast of the end. Wow. Won't become the witch. Okay, so are like people like afraid like she will become the witch? Because like she has some kind of like a blood from the witch? World destruction of balance. Yeah. Um, no, you understood nothing. Thou appeal content understood. However, I'll do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, basically that's it. Oh boy. I think like he has some kind of like circumstances, that's why. I had a, what? Contract of not making a contract.
I think like that voice that we were hearing, that was Echidona's voice, wasn't it? He is huge, like, there's one. <clears throat> like she was like thinking like she made everyone unhappy but yeah like at least <laughs> well Oh, is that so? Well, the same way as back then. Oh, okay, when she woke up. I forgot that completely or like she's remembering it now <laughs> mm, yeah
Okay, so... Oh, that was good. But, like, a um, few questions I still have. Like, uh, I'm sure, like, these questions will be answered in uh, Season 3. Or, like, Season 2 Part 2, which is going to, like, probably come in, out in, like... January, I think uh, it was supposed to come out. I'm not sure. I'll just have to check that out. Anyways, I'll definitely react to that as well after it comes out. But yeah, as I was saying, I was thinking about like maybe they'll uh, answer a few other questions as well. Like, um, why? Like, why did Puck, like, why is Puck his, like, her, like, spirit? Why was, like, Puck saying, like, I took, like, time finding you? I was unable to find you. And, like, how did like this happen? Like as far as I could understand, uh, Emilia is was somehow like uh, the reason why all of the like uh, elves got frozen. Or I might be wrong. Like I I kind of like understood like something like that happened. But at the same time, Emilia herself was also frozen somehow. <laughs> Excuse me. And I think like this maybe happened because. Puck was like supposed to look over her but like somehow Puck was not there as she he was like apologizing to Emily after she broke out of the ice so like that's why like he was feeling some kind of guilt and okay I'm kind of like uh, making a picture whole picture of the whole thing that happened like this is what I think um most probably like Puck is obviously like a spirit and just like Beatrice and all of the other spirits uh, and like uh, Roswell, I don't think, uh, I, and I'm not sure if Roswell was, is a spirit or else like uh, in season 2 some of the things that he said kind of made me think like he's a spirit, I might be wrong as well. Uh, but anyways, we're sure that Beatrice is a spirit, that is confirmed. So I'm taking the example of Beatrice, like Beatrice is in like spirit uh like uh who was told to like uh sit in that library and wait for that person by echidona so now here's the thing so i'm guessing park is also like a spirit like appointed by someone that someone being the person whose voice we are always hearing like from the beginning of this movie like who was uh, saying such stuff to park like uh like you should not come in contact with her if you come in contact you will probably like uh, forget something uh, like forget your own like self you won't be you anymore stuff like this and that voice was extremely like um like i could recognize that i think that is echidona or i might also be wrong here as well but this is just like uh, my guess so so here's the thing like echidona is somehow involved in this puck is kind of like a spirit who like looked after Emilia from like her birth but did not come in front of her so she did not know that Puck was there like he was just like uh, protecting her from the shadows or something like that looking over her from the shadows and never came out because of obviously like something related to the thing that Akitona or the person the voice we hear told him that you won't be you so do not come in contact with her because of that but Somehow, like, because of, uh, like, Puck was not there, like, somehow, like, Emilia froze the whole village or something like that happened. And she herself got frozen. And Puck became guilty, thinking, like, yeah, if I was here, I might have been able to, like, stop the whole thing. But I did not, I was not here. So it is my mistake. She was crying, that's why. But Emilia came out, and after that, all of these things happened. I think it is something like that. I might be wrong. This is all, like, my guesswork. And as far as I can like understand or like after all of the seeing all of the things 
like this is just something that i am like just my theory it can be completely like wrong okay let's see what this is here <clears throat> i'm guessing this is the present yep Okay, so also we did not get to s Oh my god, it's melting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just like someday like come back again, I I guess. Okay. The bond of ice. Yeah. That's the end. Yep. Wow, that was like a really good movie. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, like uh, that was just like some like a, a thing that came into my mind, like just like a theory. I might completely be wrong and off the like uh like this might just all be like something that i'm thinking about and it might not be the case at all but i think like it is something like that must have happened or like um because like uh like i, I like i thought like maybe they will going they're like going to answer a few questions but <laughs> like a few of the questions of my mind were answered but nothing more nothing less because i thought maybe this movie was like going to answer like who is Amelia and like um uh like why is like why does she look like Satella and what is the relationship that between Satella and Amelia and why like how did Puck re really like come to become her spirit we kind of saw like with the contract making but uh, Puck was there f f like uh, with her from the beginning so my question is like uh, like who like like uh, from when is Puck like with her all of these things it kind of got answered uh, but still like it's under like uh, all like hazy like all of the things are still hazy will probably I think like these things are going to be like uh, explained in the future seasons because obviously like uh, like if this like movie answered all of this like a lot of the mysteries would have been solved but um, no I, I think like maybe these things are like we're going to like venture into these things later on in season three or like in the upcoming future seasons and uh, <clears throat> yeah and another thing that i was a little like uh, was curious about was how did emilia meet rem ram and roswa this is another thing like i'm curious about like we know like uh, she is like uh, going for the like um that thing what was that called that uh, that uh, that uh, election or whatever that thing like uh, Roswell is like participating in uh, and making Emilia the representative and uh, so yeah we know that so how did that happen when did like she 
come like like uh, went uh, like go out from that forest that forest of frost or what uh, what like i think that was the name um like when did she uh go out of that place and come to this place like in the like uh like move into rosal's mansion and what were the circumstances where did ram and rem came uh, come from like we know their backstories as well but uh like uh, like how did they like meet Roswell? And these things, I, I was not like uh, expecting these things to be answered, but I was like expecting like at least like Emilia's portion to be answered. But uh, I'm now I'm thinking like maybe they'll like cover those in the future seasons, not in this movie. But like we got to know about the like bond that they share, like the um, Puck and uh, Emilia. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. And another thing is like I was I also like said this before the movie started is like about a contract like when like when f the first time when like Emilia died and uh, like Subal came in uh, Puck like came out and he said something about that uh, you killed my like you were not able to keep my daughter alive so like uh, abiding by my contract I'm going to destroy the whole world what was that about all of these things I <laughs> like <laughs> but um yeah these are uh, i think uh, things which will be delved into in the future seasons so yeah but um uh a few other questions who is this Milakwila? like who is he um another spirit i think i don't know um anyways like we like have no information about this Milakwila like person or like thing but still and uh, uh yeah like <laughs> like i had a few questions <laughs> when i started this movie but after like watching this movie throughout the whole movie there are more questions in my mind <laughs> which are unanswered <laughs> like <laughs> um yeah a few uh, other questions that are like started like uh like came uh, what can i say like that increased are like uh, number one who is like Malekwela? what is really the like um relation between satella and uh, emilia like previously uh, all of these seasons i i only thought that maybe like satella and emilia really do not have any kind of relation maybe like she just looked like her but now after like watching this movie i think there may be something more like uh, like what was like that power she had like that kind of like whenever like he, like someone like started bleeding a thing like an icicle or some kind of snow ice thing came out of the wound and destroyed the person what was that and like in the, it like sucked out the blood and Puck like um, kind of like uh, diffused the situation by making Emilia like um, sleep or like when Emilia fainted that thing went out easily but all of these things like these are like the, some of the new questions that I have and uh, like this uh, Milakula like he was so bent on like like blaming the whole thing on Emilia saying stuff like you yeah, like you're going to probably destroy the whole world later on without any kind of like explanation like that thing really pissed me off like uh when that thing like said i thought maybe like he has some kind of reason for doing it when emilia asked him like why are you doing what's the reason he said i don't know like what like, that thing really like pissed me off like uh yeah you you can like definitely like uh like if you have a reason you can like do stuff still not like i'm not condoning this but still if you had a reason like i could have like at, at least like understood like yeah because of this reason he's doing it but when he suddenly said that I don't know, that like really pissed me off. Like, what? What the hell are you saying? Like, you don't know the, the reason, then why the hell are you doing this? Uh, and he was like completely like unilaterally like blaming her, saying stuff like, um, yeah, you're still not doing it. Like, basically he was saying stuff like, uh, yeah, you're not doing it now, but because you look like her, you have the blood, you're going to probably do it later on. So I'm going to destroy you now like stuff like that. like this is the kind of like uh, mentality where you say stuff like yeah um like um, like th let's take an example like um if someone is like um uh, uh like this is basically like you saying like your uh, you come from a dubious background so you yourself uh, is like uh, bad you're going to probably like do something wrong later on so we're going to like um uh, punish you because of that like that was basically that that uh, Melikola was saying like he was basically like uh, pinning the blame on Emilia 
just because she has like this uh, half elf blood running through her which is uh, like which satella once had we don't even know whether they are like related or not but just because of that he was like blaming her for things that she would probably do someday great like that was the reason i was really pissed at him like like that was really uh, like irritating like that irritated me a lot that kind of like um thought process anyways um yeah so yeah the thing with molecular that the thing happened and yeah as i was saying like uh, there were like a few questions in my mind before i started but it increased unfortunately the amount of questions which are probably going to be answered in the future seasons still a few things got answered like um like how like did they ma like make a contract and what actually is the like relationship between puck and amelia and uh, like how did they meet we still don't know how they meet met but we only got a little bit of potion like flashback potion and like puck was crying and um, emilia came out of the ice and uh, another question that like added to this list is that what was that voice like that was like saying puck uh, like talking with puck at the beginning of the uh, like uh, movie and like in the midst of the movie sometimes like uh, if i am not wrong that voice is Ekidona's voice because obviously like uh, after hearing Ekidona's voice uh, that kind of voice really makes me think like that is Ekidona I might be wrong it might be completely someone else so who knows <clears throat> yeah but yeah but thinking about it like um it's quite weird if that is Echidona's voice because how is Echidona related to Sat like Satella or like Emilia? Because I don't know. Anyways, I, I I won't think about it much because that will probably get answered in the future seasons. Oh, excuse me. Mm. So yeah, so that this kind of like acted as a prequel, but at the same time, like this is basically Emilia like reminiscing about her past. <clears throat> and like thinking that um, like uh, once who, uh, like she was someone who like people did not <clears throat> like she didn't had no friends and all at all and Puck was the only one but now like she is with Rem, Ram, Beatrice, Roosevelt, Subaru is here now so like uh, her conditions have improved a lot and uh, yeah so was there anything else let me just like check it it quick um, oh yeah another thing is like uh like uh those uh sculptures of ice they were i'm i'm thinking about like i'm guessing like those uh, ice sculptures were real elves and as he, like the molecular and all of them said like as far as I got from this episode, they were like somehow frozen. It might be like Emilia's power or something else completely different. But anyhow, they were frozen. So I'm guessing like after they melt, they are going to come back alive, I think. And uh, I think I still think like they are still in that forest now, even though Emilia is now in Roswell's mansion. Like uh, those ice sculptures are still there, I'm hoping. So and like emilia like as like emilia was like smiling at the end when like uh subaru said that there is no ice that can be melted so yeah like uh, this is like a hope like one day every, like everyone will come back <clears throat> and i'm guessing like they are like people from her village uh maybe some of her acquaintances are still like frozen there anyways that was like another thing that yeah <clears throat> And that thing with the wound, like whenever someone like gets like bleeds, uh, the kind of ice thing pops out of the hand. Whenever like Emilia gets uh, er, like emotionally uh, like rattled, something like that happened. I'm guessing that is also somehow related to her like immense power that she has. Yeah, a lot of questions. Anyways, guys. So yeah, that was this um, movie. That was like a really uh, amazing movie. Um, I really liked it. This is like it uh, delved into more uh, into Emilia's backstory and what actually happened with Puck and Emilia. And obviously, like uh, it had like uh, the story was great. 
um the animation was nice it was like really uh nice to see this kind of like snowy background and all of the like snow things like falling down it was really like beautiful like uh the visuals was um, were amazing and uh, like the snow does uh like ice everything uh, really like what can i say um added more to the beauty of this whole movie it was really nice please uh, like pleasing looking at it and obviously like that uh, like that uh, like song that ost that came at, at the end was also amazing the um everything was good like uh, it, was, it was really an amazing movie like definitely like this is really zero quality and i really loved it so yeah guys so yeah that was this movie that was really really an amazing experience so yeah guys uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say about this uh, like uh, movie anything you want to share with me but one thing please no spoilers because i really want to like keep my like mind fresh whenever like when like i start uh, reacting to uh, the second part of season 2 it's going to come in the near future no spoilers because i really want to like experience everything for the first time so yeah and uh, yeah so yeah guys uh, this was this movie and as i said like i'll be doing movies like this like in the next week i'm most probably going to do my hero academia the movie so if you guys are interested in that please be sure to like tune in next week as well uh, i'll be like putting the reaction at the same time so like this i'm going to do a few movies i'm going to like decide what movie to do and i'm going to like uh, inform you guys uh, at the end like this and at the beginning also kind of so yeah and after like those movies end i'll be doing like the ghibli movies which i have not watched like i haven't watched none of them so i'll have to like do each and every one of them uh so sequentially so yeah so yeah guys uh, i really enjoyed my like uh, this movie so yeah guys i'll be back with a new video like this a new movie reaction most probably my hero academia one uh, next week same time so Please be sure to tune, tune in and until then goodbye and have a nice day.